All right, so I've got some good news and some bad news. If you have a home in Mecklenburg County that you bought over the last few years, the good news is your house is likely worth a lot more because of the booming economy. The bad news is it's probably worth a lot more, <laughs> which means it's going to get taxed at a much higher rate. Property owners will start getting their new tax values in the mail for the first time in eight years here in the next week or two. Of county officials say the value of both the residential and commercial property has sharply risen over the last few years since 2011. The new values will potentially shift how Mecklenburg, Charlotte, and other local cities distribute their property tax burden in the coming years. Many people will have probably some sticker shock, much like they did back in 2011. I remember what happened. The revaluation turned into a debacle for the county as botched effort led to thousands of appeals, appeals from property owners. That ended up taking really years to fix that mess, and Mecklenburg County ended up refunding property owners about $100 million. Since we do have a county commissioner here on set with us, uh, assure us that the similar situation is not going to happen this time. Well, I can tell you that we've gone to great lengths and put in a lot of safety valves to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Um, we have, we're required by law to do a reevaluation every uh, eight years. We're in the process of going through that right now. Um, and uh, notices about reevaluation values are going out um, in the yep. next two weeks. And we should remind your viewers that uh, this isn't a bill. This is just the value, the reevaluation of your home. And there is a process to immediately start to go through when you get that notice. Um, yeah, so go ahead and break down for folks. So once basically, get this, once you get the notice, you have 30 days to go through an informal appeal process. So I want to encourage people, if they're like me, if they get their mail and sometimes yeah. put it aside when they see something from Mecklenburg County, do immediately, not do that. Yeah, yeah, do not do that. immediately open up because you have 30 days to go through an informal questioning process. And so um, I want everybody to know that we're going to have resources um, both at the county commission level and the tax assessor's office to help answer people's questions about their valuation. Well, and that's, that's part of the reason why I'm here today. Most of your viewers probably know yeah. I've been in, involved in politics and was chief of staff for Senator Tart. When we went through the last revaluation issue, and Senator Tart authored the bill in 2013 to fix the 2011 reval. And I have to give a lot of credit to the assessor's office and to our county commissioners, both now and in the past, for what they've done to make it better. But again, yes, these are coming out. The appeals process, though, can be complicated. Um, myself and another lawyer in North Mecklenburg, Mac Bob McIntosh, have formed a joint venture, and that's what Carolina Revaluation Services is. We want to be able to provide those folks in our community with a free consultation to talk to a lawyer, whether commercial or residential. The assessor himself has said, average property increase in Mecklenburg County, 56%. 30 to 50% increase on residential, 77 average percent increase on commercial values. You don't have to get an attorney, but we want to be able to provide that service to folks because at the end of the day, it is an appeal process. It's quasi-judicial, and here's the kicker. The burden of proof to prove if the assessor's value is, in, is not correct on market yeah. value is on the taxpayer. So we would like to make sure that folks have those opportunities to be able to do that. We mentioned sticker shock. The, the fact of the matter is some people are not going to be able to afford the, their, their new taxes. I mean, because they're going to go up that substantially in, in some cases. Well, That's the, an extreme the, for sure, but I mean. The tax rate hasn't been set yet. The tax rate is a part of the budget process that happens in May. So. The, the, first, the first thing that people have to do is decide if their value is fair. Gotcha. And so that's the process. The second thing that's happened is, is that the commissioner is going to look through the needs of the county and decide what set the rate. So there's two processes that have to explain, happen. Explain to people at home, especially the folks who weren't here back a few years ago, what went wrong last time? What went wrong last time was simply that the assessor's office used a far smaller pool of comparables because let, let's talk about what, it, what, an, what an assessment is. They do not walk into your home and know whether you've put in granite countertops sure. or new cabinets. They don't know what the rent roll is of a commercial building. So what they do is, is they start with a number. They start with the app, what they think the value of all the, of all the property in Mecklenburg County is. Then they break it down by neighborhood and they sign values based on their mass appraisal system. And I have to tell you, our assessor, Ken Joyner, was brought in by our county in 2014, 15, I believe. He was a former professor at UNC. He's done this. He is very knowledgeable. But again, a mass appraisal doesn't know the details, which is why our firm and the county are encouraging everyone to either you know, find someone to work with or get involved and know. Go to the informal review. See if that's something you'd like to do. If you need to appeal or you want an attorney to help guide you through the process, you can take. You can go to the internet and find someone. There are not very many people that do it. That was why we stepped up and decided that this was a practice that was needed. Um, but your county commissioners can answer questions, as can the assessor's office. All right. More flashpoint after this.